Hi there, Joka here. And in this video, I'm going to show you some projects with the new 3D vignette collection by Becca Feigen from Spabinders. Um, I'm going to show you the products and I will also show you a couple of new products uh, that are available and I'm going to be using them, even though you will not see them in the video but it will make sense in a, a bit. So these are the type of products that I have not used before. I found them super intimidating. I'm not go going to lie because there's a lot of pieces. Uh, some of them, as I opened the die set, obviously I have no idea what they are, but look, there is a, um, like a tutorial or picture, uh, pic Tutorial. <laughs> um, there are instructions how you can uh, work with these, what the pieces are for, how many of everything you need. And these instructions are available for each die set. Um, I had them in PDF format. I'm not sure when you buy them, uh, how you get them, but they are available. Now, the second one, uh, so the first one was a retro television, and this one is a, a hot air balloon. This one has a little bit less pieces, I believe. And um, yeah, I'm going to get on the project soon. But before that, I wanted to show you the new tool in one. I did not have this before. It's totally practical. You have two different um ends to the tool one with the brush and then there is a uh, two little uh a, a, like a straight needle and um a curved needle for uh, working with um your project you can set the length of this and the one end that you are not using you can store inside the tool so it's super practical and there is a new die cutting machine. It's a Platinum 6. It's the same as the normal Platinum 6, but it is actually a Platinum color. And also what is different about this set um, is that it comes with the universal plate system. So um, I will show you that in a second. And this is how you uh, put the machine together, the handle, um, Honestly, it's super, super straightforward and uh, very simple. I had the exact same machine before. Um, the, it was the limited edition Jane Davenport one, the um, blue machine is the same machine. Um, in the set, you get a, a die set, then um, the universal plate system and the 3D embossing folder, which is this one here. And you will see on the plates um, how you have to uh, layer them up for uh, your projects. If you want to emboss with 3D embossing folder or normal embossing folder or you want to die cut, everything is on these um, base platforms. So um, this is a bit different, but it works with uh, your any uh, platinum machine, of, of course. Um, and of course, if you have the machine, you can buy this uh, plate system separately as well. I wanted to show you how this uh, embossing folder works and what it looks like when you um, use it. And this is why actually uh, this, well, one of the reasons why this uh, plate system was created because uh, you needed something for the 3D embossing folders, and also these are longer. The new folders, um, embossing folders, are longer or bigger than the normal ones to accommodate all kinds of uh, card sizes. So um, it, it is a practical thing to have. To be honest, I use it uh, now all the time because obviously there's uh, more space on the cutting plates, so I can fill them up uh, much better and cut uh, more things at the same time. But I just quickly wanted to show you um, how it die cuts. And uh, this is the balloon. And this is all the pieces that I die cut for the balloon uh, project. Um, as you can see, I double up, up on everything. So it is a lot of die cutting. It takes hours, I will not lie. You don't have to double up on anything. I just, I don't know. I'm kind of 
it's just me <laughs> i'm obsessed with um cardstock that you know is not warped and you know when you hold it in your hands it's just sturdy and firm and I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I think it's just my uh, obsession. So I'd rather uh, spend some extra time on this um, step, but you don't need to do this. So um, that's what you see me do here to that I, I glue everything together. Um, and what you can see here, um, I don't know how you should call that, that slit at the top of the balloon. That's going to uh, be there to pull this um, piece that I'm now gluing together through. Um, so you thread this through and you um, glue it down. And this is going to create the dimensional um, balloon. You will understand uh, it, it's much better to see it, I guess, than explaining it um normally you only need one of those um pieces those connector uh, pieces but i again i wanted it to be sturdy so i um uh, used two and normally you would have to thread it through here on the front as well but i did not because i wanted to hide those little tabs behind these tabs that you can see there i wanted to hide it as much as possible behind the uh, front and the basket comes in three pieces that you can add obviously you don't have to but this adds a little bit of uh, dimension and interest and detail to the basket and then um, again no idea what this piece is called that holds the basket and the balloon um, or well it's hanging off the balloon. And then I am trying to see if I uh, should add another layer of the balloon at, or not the balloon, but the basket at the back. Um, but I will figure that out uh, in a second. First, I'm just going to create the whole front before I'm doing anything um, with the other layers. You don't have to use these decorative pieces if you don't want to, but I wanted to uh, see what it looks like uh, using everything that comes with the kit. And there are all these tassels as well. And then another piece that obviously no idea if it has a name or not. Uh, I'm just gluing it where it's supposed to go. And next up, I'm going to layer up everything that I uh, die cut. And I just wanted to show you one, I think, <laughs> I hope, um, how it comes together and then uh, the rest is just done the same way. I actually die cut each layer from a different color and the baskets are all the same, uh, Spellbinders, Dune color and of course i'm going to link in everything in the description box if something is not linked in it's likely because i don't have anywhere to link it um, or i bought it locally uh, that can happen with cardstock um, then you will not see it in the list so normally i just link in the spa binders cardstock and uh, the rest i mostly don't know where i have be from because i you know, it's just scraps or uh, whatever. I don't recognize the texture or whatever. So this is how I create the cards or the layers um, of my project. I'm adding the basket at the uh, front and the back as well so that it's going to, you know, it's going to hold up properly. I'm not saying that it wouldn't if I um didn't do this at the back but I, I don't know i just felt like more layers the better so these uh this is what all the cards look like and then i'm going to start oh i had this extra piece of die cut there's no reason why i added this 
it was just an extra piece and I didn't want to throw it away. So I added that on the front. And now that I'm doing the last steps on the balloon, I'm going to move on to the side pieces that will create the dimension there. And basically you will have to pull or thread all the uh, layers through at the top and insert the um, the little strips at the bottom into the slits on the side pieces. Um, I think you can probably see what I'm doing, even if I'm not explaining it well. Um, and then in the end, the top of the balloons will be separated by a little piece that you will uh, glue on uh, later. Uh, you will see that in a second. But first, I think it's easier to uh, do the bottom only. And then these are these connector pieces that you can add there on uh, or these circles on that uh, strip of paper. And I actually uh, added them on both sides again because I'm obsessed with um, layering things up and I I don't know I I placed something wrong or maybe it's because I uh, added more cardstock uh, layers than I should have the circles didn't fit completely um, so I just trimmed off a little bit and then they fit uh, perfectly. I think I did not uh, pull that uh, tab through uh, through the front uh, properly I, because if you look at it closely there is a bit more space on the first circle and then there's not enough um, on the last one. So it is important that you um, are precise with these kind of projects I guess which is probably why I don't normally do them. Although I am quite precise, I think, but, uh, you know, it's too much pressure. Uh, but it looks so, so super cute. I really love it. And then you can decorate it with uh, these clouds that also come in the set. And there are two different um, sentiments, I think, as far as I remember. So I'm using one of them. Uh, that says keep smiling and I just want to add some uh, like a bold color behind that um, sentiment but you could also um, add all the colors so you could die cut the sentiments from a variety of uh, cardstock and then insert all the letters or inlay all the letters separately which which is something I'm going to do later in the video. And by the way, I forgot to mention that this video is super long. I probably should have mentioned it at the beginning, uh, but I didn't have time, sorry. <laughs> so uh, again, layering up on those clouds. <laughs> oh, you must think that I'm crazy, but okay. <laughs> So I am adding four of these clouds and kind of the two in, in the front and then uh, another two just in between. And for the front ones, I'm using foam tape just to uh, add a little bit of more dimension in front of that basket. And yeah, that's about it. I'm not uh, going to decorate much um, on this project and I think I showed it before that you can um, what is it called so this folds or collapses so basically you can um, insert it in a normal envelope because it's uh, quite a flat well it's not quite flat like a you know, a normal card, but it's not super dimensional when you lay it flat. So you can uh, send it in a normal envelope, actually. And then whoever you send it to can display it because, um, as you can see, all the layers is going to stand on its own. And I 
yeah, I'm adding some of these drops and then uh, it's finished, this one. And I tried, well, I, I definitely wanted to create one of these um, dimensional cards, but I also wanted to create something simple just in case somebody has no patience for um, a project like that. You can totally use, use the balloon as a flat, um, you know, element on the front of a, a card. And I just wanted to show you a simple example with this. You can add multiple colors to your balloon, just like I did here. Um, I think the maximum number of colors you can add is four because um, the side pieces are one die cut. So um i actually wanted to do like a rainbow thing but then i realized that the two side pieces will always be the same color now i'm only using two two out of the three uh, decorative pieces that come with the set and i die cut them from gold cardstock and now i am adding this connecting piece to, uh, between the basket and the balloon and then the balloon is pretty much done. And then I will just move on to my background. And for this, I chose one of these quite recent, I think from the birthday collection, maybe um, the embossing folder here. Uh, this is not a 3D embossing folder, just a normal one. And I don't have, well, I have a, a cloud background embossing folder, but it's small. So I just look for something that would still work with my um, hot air balloon theme, at least in my head, the bubbles are okay. Um, and then it's just gonna be a simple card. I'm adding um, foam tape to that balloon and some clouds behind it and then almost done. Um, kind of trying to figure out how, uh, since I only have two different uh, clouds and they they have kind of like a flat um, bottom side um, because they were obviously not designed for this purpose, but I think they look still okay. So I'm just trying to figure out uh, where I wanna place them. And then I'm creating the sentiment again, the same way as uh, on the first card. And this is the second sentiment that comes with the die set, blue skies um, ahead. And I'm trimming it off. Of course, you could uh, do this before die cutting, I guess. But I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm not good at this either way. Doing it before or after, I often <laughs> mess up although this one actually worked. And for this, I used my smaller trimmer because, I don't know, it's handier, I guess. And then, oh yeah, I did mess up one, although not uh, quite badly, but I don't know, there was a stain on it. So I redid it and then, but I did not want to throw it away. So I just layered it up. Uh, you know, in the back, you don't see that, the, the stain. And it creates an extra dimensional piece there uh, on top of this orange cardstock, which, as you can see, it's a part of a, a balloon that I knew that I was not going to use again. So I'm just uh, using it as a background for my sentiment. And then I... Uh, quickly fussy cut it out but uh, I don't know why I'm stopping I probably was watching something um, and that's why sometimes I was stopping um, and these flowers I think I used uh, recently I had like uh, leftovers from a project that was I don't know months ago and I still had some that actually the colors were okay so I used them uh, for my balloon because I thought that it was kind of simple, you know, just to add something and that something is always flowers in my case, I guess. So I'm gluing down the uh, clouds where I previously placed them. 
and then I'm going to add the balloon and pretty close to the end of this card. And then I'm going to be moving on to my most favorite project for a long time. I hope you will like it. I'm super excited about it. Um, so also to the sentiment, I added some uh, foam tape. And now I'm using liquid glue to place those uh, flowers on my balloon. And then, of course, I have to add some something, some blink uh, in the middle. And this is the taupe color, I think. I seem to remember. Um, it kind of fits with the gold, almost like gold, you know. I didn't have a gold color. So this is my favorite project, the retro television. Uh, here you see all the pieces that you can die cut. And again, pay no attention for anything that is doubled up. You don't need to do that. And here's how you will put together the TV. Well, actually, this you should do. Um, the front piece and the back piece you should uh, double up so that it's uh, sturdy. But it actually shows that in the tutorial as well and says that too, that you should die cut this piece twice. So this is one of the parts of the front and this is the second and they you can kind of have to butt them together and there's um the stripes that you will also use for the screen you can also use here to connect them and actually two is enough but I wanted to um you know glue the whole uh, back together and then there's this decorative uh piece that will come to the front but it's really skinny so that alone is not going to be enough and I was surprised that it actually held uh, the, these two things had the pieces together really well and now I'm just uh, putting together my TV there's no reason why you should uh, use two of these screen pieces but because I created two layers of uh, the frame I thought okay I'm not going to waste it. And also, um, now that I'm creating the screen, I realize, well, I, I might not remember well because it's been a while, but I seem to remember that the screen on these old TVs kind of popped out of the, you know, not like the flat screen TVs, but the screen was actually dimensional. So I thought if I layer the, those pieces back and then add this um test strip screen on top is just going to be a bit more dimensional if that makes sense it's still not going to be like the real tv obviously but um so i don't i just don't mind the dimension is what i mean then uh the oh what is this called i wanted to say shadow but it's not the light the light right anyway that's that little piece the white piece and then again, um, uh, I could have obviously glued this directly onto the background, but I wanted to add more layers and more layers. You know, dimension is everything. So more layers, <laughs> foam tape um, comes in here. And then I'm putting together this panel uh, that holds all the uh, buttons and such. And I will show one of everything you know because you will see that there are uh, several of um, different uh, areas or pieces but I'm only going to show one of everything how you put them together otherwise it's just gonna be a one and a half hour long video so um, mo most of my pieces are uh, several layers some are actually only several layers because I die cut them from uh, a variety of colors because I couldn't decide which one I want and then I don't throw away the pieces and I actually that dimension gives it a little bit of a I just I don't know it creates a more special project in my opinion and these are the 
well, actually this middle piece, I don't know what this is, but uh, it's on the, you know, on the sample. So yeah, I don't know what that is. The other two are the speakers, but at the middle one, I don't know. Anyway, the antennae, um, this normally you would add at the uh, back of that thing, that little piece. But since I wanted to layer it up anyway, I added it in between. So then from the back, you can also not see, um, you know, when you will glue this to the back of the TV, you will not see the uh, back of the antennae. Um, and the feet, obviously, you don't need to add four layers. Well, I two at the front, two at the back is four layers, right? But I, I kept them from two colors. First from the dune color and then gold. So I thought, okay, let's not waste that either. It just adds a bit more st stability anyway. Um, it Maybe it will stand better. I don't know. I just added all those pieces. So... If you don't want to spend time on this, obviously don't. But um, again, I'm just trying to explain why I'm doing those extra steps. It's not something you need. Um, and then I added foam tape to all these little pieces. And there you have the antennae um, in the back. And then the front is done. And for the back, you create... A simpler piece um, but the same way it just doesn't have all the uh, little details and then the cards because this will actually hold cards that um, come with two sentiments one is your um what was it you're awesome right and the other one is breaking news and I think this would be such a great gift for Christmas. Um, you could add photos for it. It's like a mini photo album. And in fact, I think you could create uh, like more layers to this card. If you connect these pieces, these side pieces are holding together your layers and create a pocket here um, for your card so that it doesn't fall out. So these pieces are two uh, well they have two functions the top pieces you will separate like that and the bottom you will not those will be the pockets and the top pieces will just hold your uh, cards separate so to say um, so that is why you have four of these side pieces so you will add two layers and as you can see here that's how you connect them you will uh, pull those down so they stay in, uh, uh, in the right spot and you can see that you can fold uh, these easily and this really worked out so great and uh, everybody that went uh, close to my working space was like oh my god that's so adorable it truly is um so those are the pockets and those come at the bottom. And here you see those notches. It will help you where to glue your um, little tabs, uh, the top and the bottom as well. And just make sure that you are folding it uh, flat so that, you know, everything is placed properly when you glue it together. Just test it, you know, both directions so that it works properly. And obviously use liquid glue because that way you can uh, change the position if needed. And then this is the back uh, piece that is exactly the same as the front without all the decorations. And then that is it. It's all done. And then you create your cards. So there's uh, four slots for your cards on this one but as I said you could create more layers if you wanted to create a mini album with uh, more photos but in this case I would have uh, like 
two cards for photos, for example, and then they, uh, I have the two sentiments on which you probably could write something. I actually think I'm going to keep this for myself because I really like it. Um, but I might, if I have time, I might make some more for friends for Christmas because I love it. Um, and then, you know, all the color options that you have, that is always so exciting for me. So I chose um, four colors from the colors that I used on my TV. And, you know, that thing that normally uh, holds your antennae, uh, antennae, it's such a hard word in, in the plural. Um, I just use those as tabs. So, you know, you can uh, pull out your cards easier and just I just wanted to add some colors and the one thing that I forgot about that I wanted to do I wanted to place these tabs behind the antennae <laughs> um, on the front so that they are in the same position but I forgot about this so I put them in the middle so they will be visible but I I mean it doesn't doesn't really bother me so um now in this case i actually decided to die cut those letters from some uh, different uh, color cardstock i lost it i lost my train of uh, thought so don't mind me um i think it was the same four colors probably that i used for the tabs and i did not actually die cut um both sentiments from uh, all the different cardstock because they had the same font the same size of letters so if the letter is on one of them i could use the same color on the other one if that makes sense i hope it does and then that card is done. And now moving on to the last project. Uh, that was it. That's going to be the flat version um, of this TV. And my idea here was that I wanted to only emboss a part of that cardstock. So that's what I did. Um, I call this Smurf Blue. I don't know if you know the Smurfs, the original ones anyway. <laughs> I think it's a good description, but uh, this cardstock was actually quite thin, so um, I put a lot of glue on the back so that it flattens uh, flattens it out because obviously it got warped uh, from the water, and then I trim off the excess because obviously I never get the size right. But while I was doing this, I kind of damaged some of the dots. But I think in the end, I'm going to cover those uh, up. So be careful handling those uh, 3D embossing pa uh, powder, embossing folder uh, projects. Again, I lost uh, my train of uh, thought. So um, I... I'm just adding some foam tape to my TV and I don't know what I want to do with the sentiments. I did want to add both. So um, I die cut uh, the uh, breaking news and you're awesome as well. But I did not know um, where I wanted to add them. So I'm just going to figure that out. And I did not want to add more color to the background so I'm just keeping it simple and added the same cardstock behind my uh, die cut and the one thing that I was wondering about you know um, to maybe add something at the bottom of the card to resemble some kind of floor you know like a I don't know, to ground my TV because it felt like it's just uh, hanging in the background. And so, I don't know, I was thinking about that for a long time, uh, especially the color. I didn't know what to do with that, but I'm just going to do something super simple in the end. Um, so I am finishing those sentiments 
And then I'm going to try a few options. And it might not make sense what I chose um, in the end. But I don't know. I kind of like that look. So this is where my mind is going um, when I was placing the sentiments. That it's... I don't know, it kind of reminded me of a megaphone with, uh, or like a megaphone illustration with all the text coming out of it, you know, and um, I don't know, maybe it makes no sense at all, but that's kind of what I was going for. I just thought that, you know, placing the sentiment just like normal, um, it was kind of uninteresting. So I don't know. Uh, you decide and then what I was talking about I added a strip of paper only for you know to ground my tv on a carpet or whatever um, and then done and then here are my projects I hope you like them I hope I could inspire you and do not be afraid these are very intimate I mean at least for me they were very intimidating die sets but they are super fun to work with. And as you can see, you can create a dimensional project or a very simple card as well. And there are two more sets in this collection. Um, I think a, a dog house and a camera. So check them out. I think they are super fun and would be great um, gifts for friends and family for Christmas. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.